everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie and give some thoughts on the recent second reveals of actor David Cornsweet in his Superman costume and ask as to whether it's an overall improvement. Now the first reveal of the costume of the actor appeared online a couple of months ago and my initial impressions as with a lot of people weren't that very good. I wasn't a fan of the pose of Superman sitting on the couch looking very battle weary and tired, putting his boots on. I just felt it wasn't a very appealing look, especially as your first one for your upcoming Superman project, which I think we can all agree on. Very much is pivotal if this overall new chapter of DC or James Gunn's first phase within his DC universe is to succeed, then they really have to come out swinging with this Superman project. So every single news tidbit, casting announcement, picture reveal has to be spot on in order to really convince us that, that DC can indeed get Superman right on the big screen once more. So I just feel it wasn't a very satisfactory reveal a couple of months ago. I wasn't a fan of the S emblem when they revealed that before the first look. I just think it's very cheap and tacky. The lines around the costume, the bagginess of the material, giving this very blocky look to the aesthetic far removed from the prime supreme physique that we normally associate with superheroes. So when we go on to the second reveals then, which surfaced online yesterday on Monday the 24th of June 2024, and I'm just being honest here, not being overly negative, I'm still not impressed with the overall look, as I think the same issues are still there. But to be far more positive to begin with, one thing that they've got absolutely right is the colours. Looking at this overall pictures here, this is what Superman should be. We look at the bright blue and red, much more colourful and vibrant and energetic, giving that far more warmth and depth with the contrast that Superman should be. We look at all of the previous Superman iterations ever since the Dean Cain version from the 90s show and they've all had that faded, saturated, greyish look about them, as if the producers were far too scared to give that colourful look, trying to be more gritty and realistic, which is just not the ideal approach. Superman should always be bright and stand out from everybody else. Yes, there has to be a certain sensibility in how, in how you translate the colours. You don't want it to come across as too cheesy or too cartoonish. But still the same, Superman should have that lighter aesthetic about him. And with the colour scheme, they've clearly taken inspiration from the Christopher Reeve version, which is still perfection, of course. But I do find it quite staggering that over 40 years on since that first movie back in 1978, that they haven't come anywhere close to matching that overall quality. And I think that's overall something to be said in terms of the overall creativity or certainly the lack of creativity and also faith within the character. So in terms of the colours, they're absolutely spot on and Corrin Sweat himself 100% looks like Superman. Yes, there are similarities between him and Henry Cavill, but this is fine because Henry Cavill also very much looked like Superman. And one advantage that Corrin Sweat has is that Towering at six foot four or six foot five, that is much more the ideal height of Superman rather than being six foot one, which is what Henry Cavill was, and also Tyler Hecklin. And it was never right that Superman was the same height or slightly smaller than the Batman or the Flash. Superman should be amongst the tallest within the group of DC characters. So Corrin Sweat is absolutely fine in terms of the look. And the photos themselves at least signal a much more brighter, welcoming world that they're building for this movie. And I think, again, that's very good. But we'll then focus on the bad elements. And as I mentioned before, I still hate the emblem, which is even more apparent with these brighter photos. And I just wish they would incorporate the classic S symbol, which would improve this costume indefinitely. We then talk about, again, the lines and the segments which are much more clear in these pictures, and I still don't see the need for them. Again, taking inspiration as the comic book version from the new 52 iteration of Superman, which shows the costume much more as armor rather than a suit, and I, again, I don't think that's the right choice. Now, if you had a few faint lines, it wouldn't be as bad if the suit was much more tighter, but there's so much lines here around the arms and the upper body and the legs, and it just makes the costume look very cheap very lacklustre in design and again unnecessary and very similar to the criticism that we have with a lot of the Marvel movies in that there are too much segments, too many parts that just take away from the overall figure. This is even more telling when the segments don't have that overall anatomic feel and follow through in terms of the overall design. We then talk much more about the suit and in terms of its material, again this biker like material, still too baggy, 
still too big for the actor. Again, we see this very apparent with the arms in certain photos here, and especially even more so with the stomach area, where there are too many ripples. Given that very flabby, blocky look, which definitely disservices the actor, if you've been following this, we know that he has been definitely working out. We see that from the Instagram photos recently. And the suit should complement his physique. Again, being six foot four, he should really have that physique that truly stands out and fills out the costume, much like what we got with Henry Cavill. But the suit just doesn't complement him, making him look very clunky. Now, yes, it's possible that this was done for much more of comfort with the actor. It can never be easy for all of the actors and actresses playing these superhero roles in these super skin tight costumes so maybe this is something they will fit in post-production but again we are judging much more on what we are seeing right in front of us and this just doesn't look very right for the character again the suit should accentuate all of the physical attributes this is superheroes this is comic book this is fantasy this is peak physical condition and this costume sadly doesn't exhibit that and again it's the same with the boots, again, very clunky. At least the Cavill version, there's boots with skin tight, again, where we could emphasize all of the calf muscles, which is, again, that comic book aesthetic. And once more, if you surface online, you'll see plenty of AI mock-ups of David Corrin Sweat with the brighter colors with this costume, but with the more classical S symbol, and also much more of a skin tight aesthetic. And it just looks way more better and again you're scratching your head as to why they simply couldn't follow this blueprint as it would be far more suitable for the overall character so sadly not impressed even though we do have the much more brighter color scheme which helps again the brighter photos very good we want this to be a much more shinier brighter metropolis rather than the grayish ugly looking realistic version that we saw from the snyderverse but this costume so far still doesn't have me overall convinced and we do have to always allow for the fact that these costumes will always look better once more in motion rather than in stills. And with the allowance again that they can always touch these costumes up in post-production, I fully expect to see a far more better finished product. And I'm still also adhering to the fact that I believe this will be much more of the prototype version of the costume. As we all know, this will be a Superman story within his earlier days where he's first approaching the Metropolis and meeting Lois Lane. So I fully expect there to be a far more finished product at the end. Again, while we can't get the finished product to begin with, I never know, but I still fully expect there to be a much more improved version two thirds or in the final act of the movie when we see it. So I'll quickly comment on the other aspects of these photos. Of course, we see that Mr. Terrific is appearing here, which is fine. Again, we see him very comic accurate once again. I still feel that perhaps the CW version that we saw particularly with the Arrow series is superior, but I don't think you can argue too much with the Mr. Terrific version here. He looks like the character 100%. Again, it looks like they're fully embracing the comic book flavor and tone of these characters, which is overall good to see. I'll still maintain that we shouldn't be seeing Mr. Terrific or Hawk Girl, or Metamorpho, or all of the other multitude characters, Green Lantern, we shouldn't be seeing these characters anywhere near the first Superman movie, and it still maintains my concerns that this will be overcrowded, but that's for another debate, but Mr. Terrific looks fine here. Now, a lot of people have shown favour to Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, I said that when she was initially cast, that very much so. She does look like Lois Lane. And you can see within the photos here, they've clearly taken inspiration from the 90s animated series by Bruce Tim and Paul Dini, where we see Lois in the purple top. That's all classic animating. So if you go on there, you'll see the pictures of Lois. That was her main design. And no doubt about it, she absolutely 100% looks like Lois Lane, much more so than Amy Adams and also Kate Bosworth from the Superman Returns movie. So no complaints at all in terms of the Lois Lane choice. Of course, what will be key is if she could exhibit the personality and the feisty attitude that we also associate with the character. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings with the recent photos of the reveals of David Coventsworth in a Superman costume. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this is much more of an improvement? Or do you still have major concerns that I do? Should we continue to reserve full judgment until we see the costume in full motion and also allow for the fact that they can very much do post-production work afterwards? 
let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any other further suggestions regarding any other movies television series or any other topics within the pop entertainment and culture scene that you'd like to see me cover within the channel then also let me know in the comments and i will see if i could provide further commentary for you on that subject matter within the future please also hit like the subscription and notification buttons so i could provide you more high quality content like this in the future but that's it for now take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon.